Ryan's life. Just say something. <laughs> but what can I say? What do you want to explore? Let's uh, explore some some of the future. Show me a future. Uh, well, but but I guess we have to plan. You know, we don't have yet uh, prepare. That's okay. Just <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, I think we should plan it like logging uh, a number of samples and then okay, traveling. Let's, let's try to log in one of the samples. You, because I am training you. <laughs> uh, so let's say I want to log a sample. Okay, so okay. how do you do? So you go to the new, you, you are, first of all, you have to locate yourself in the sample batch sample page. Batch page. So this section is really mm -hmm. Exactly. And then you click on new. Okay. And then you fill out the fields that have a red uh, line. Gray. <laughs> yes. Gray line. This okay. Is the well, this is the long way of logging samples. Okay. This is not probably not very useful in the case of mines. This is mainly used by commercial labs. Okay, so let's say I would want to create the uh, mm -hmm. batch. I would put the batch name. Normally, in the batch name, you enter a, an internal reference or a client reference. Sometimes they have already like a, your submission number or order number. So, what would be a good example of a, a batch name in this case? Mm. I don't know. You can say. What have you seen? In Normally, uh, normally they they had a, the the geologists when they sent the samples. If this is the case of mine samples, they all they they um, write the reference. You know, one, two, three, four, five so number or whatever. Batch name would be name one. Batch one. No, no, it's not no, batch one, because no, because the batch will be given automatically by the limbs and that. Uh, is an alphanumeric that start with the letter. Well, it's, anybody can configure in the way they want. Okay, but what have you seen in the field? What would be an example of batch name? Yeah. Is the well, they co in, in Mexico they call it folio. So, so how do you spell <laughs> folio one, two, folio. three, four. Folio and then folio one. Number one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. It's a number. Okay. That's for instance. Mm -hmm. And then they would enter the client. Mm -hmm. so they, then you select the client. So let's say um, my mine. department. Mm -hmm. and then the Normally they don't have work order because this is more for um, commercial labs. Okay, so no quote, no. Sometimes project they do have. Project. Okay, so you've seen Project sometimes. normally they have. Glass walls, for instance. Glass walls, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, submitted by the person it automatically brings the first person in the list under that client. Oh, okay. First person of the list, that's mm -hmm. okay. Yes. And then the sample type is something that's mandatory? Yes. That has to be selected from the list. And if the sample type is not there, there is a new menu which, where you can enter the new type of sample. But um, this is... The, the number of sa the sample types, we try to keep the minimum, okay. not too many. Not too many. Because they imply a lot of configuration after. Oh, really? So sample type okay. implies lots of configuration. Okay. Yes. Number of sample, that's important. So uh -huh. let's say I would want to put, uh, what would be the average samples? For it? Boolean, the one, the type of you selected, they are not too many. Probably four samples. So four samples in this case. And mm -hmm. then Container, no, you just leave it as it is because container only applies to pharmaceutical or no to environmental samples. Environmental samples, okay. So mm -hmm. is there something else in there? No, there? nothing else. You move to the other side. So okay. You select okay. the person that is going to receive. So that would uh -huh. spell. Yes, this. and now you have to select the package. So you open that arrow. Oh, this uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And you select, well, in that case, I guess Blast Waltz contains whatever they want. That one is all right. And then you hit OK. You don't need to flag anything. This is only in case of rush samples. Okay. Okay. Then it takes you to the field where all the where you have to enter the sample ID given by the client. So there are several ways to do that. One is to type the ID. 
Secondly, is to use a wizard to assist you to enter uh, prefixes and. What have you seen in the field? Uh, the, use the people use uh, use the wizard a lot. Oh, okay, so let's try with the wizard then. Yes. So if the sample ID has a prefix or a number that is constant to all of them, so you can enter that first a lot. A lot. Because normally the numbers are very big, but only the last two digits are changing, you know. Okay. So, what so whatever is, sometimes the prefix is the date. So you enter April 30th, 2010, dash, one, two, four. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So one, two, so that would be what the prefix uh, example would be? Mm, it will be 2010, 2010. 0430, dash. Dutch, and then a starting one, so one and ending four. four, stopping four, and then Stop hit the arrow, okay. and then click OK. okay. And if you still want to make a, a modification to any sample, let's say that they, for some reason, put another suffix to each of the, any of them, you can add it in here in the in the client ID field, otherwise you receive them all. Okay, so... Receive all. So, uh, receive all, which would be in the section mm -hmm. receive all here. And as you, then, that's, you click OK. There we go. And now all the different worksheets are going to be created for the analyst to start doing the analysis. What okay. There? Okay. Now, uh, now uh, the new batch is, which name is here A ten zero zero thirty, has been created, and if we want to review how is it, normally we go working view, working view, and now we can view here in the setup screen of the client jobs that you have two different type of analysis. One is aqua regia for those three metals, and the other one, if you select the next one, is fire assay, mm, gold by fire assay, AAS. Okay. So that's ready. The next step is you move to the laboratory jobs, and somebody will start entering weights when they weigh the sample. Okay, so. so you select the sample, and then you go to data, so let the so let's uh, let's conclude with this today, and we will uh, explore how to put the weights in a future video. Thank you, and uh, thank you, Tanya, for your time. And, uh, <laughs> okay.